Thank you for joining me today. We are going to talk about why and how to use the masking fluid in a watercolor painting process. Would you like to meet me for a painting marathon next Tuesday and Thursday, six hours a day? You can download the reference, ping along, upload your artwork for suggestions, or just observe. You can find the link in the descriptions. I will see you there. You know, I use exclusively the brushes from Enjoying Art. Order yours today at enjoyingart.com brushes. Let's take a look at this reference. The water is very consistent in the background, right? And across behind the main object was just the swan swimming on the lake. And you see the light over here? from here all the way connect to this side. So it would be nice to, when you paint the left side all the way from here, shh, all the way to the right side. And also brush this over really quickly, including the reflection of the tree, the grass behind this. If you want to do that, you have to kind of ignore this one, but you can't ignore this one because it's watercolor painting. If you paint it behind this like this without protecting, the shape of this one, you have to use uh, the opaque white. And if you don't want to do that, that is a solution you can use is masking. Okay, let's talk about what masking that I use. I use uh, this product. All my materials have links in the descriptions. So make sure you check the description. The second thing, how I apply the masking, I would use uh, the regular brush that we use for painting, okay? But if you just use the brush like this to apply the masking, the masking fluid will get into the hair of the brush. And then after it dry, it can dry very fast. And your brush hair, it will no longer useful because it's always going to glue and tear or air those, all those things that inside in between the hair and you won't be able to take them out. Maybe you can, but you can damage your brush just like in a minute. So to do that, I would use the soap bar. And this is my trick. And any soap bar is fine. This is my very small piece of soap bar. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wet the brush and apply the soap make it inside of the hair, making sure it's fully, fully penetrated between the hair or the hair space. You don't have it very, very, uh, a lot of water, okay? But make sure the soap is inside. Okay, this is good, like that. And use the brush, advantage of that is you can paint the, the uh, masking for it, just like you paint the paint in the painting process. Okay, second thing, I'm gonna get some masking for it right here. And thinking about how much uh, masking for it you need, okay, you don't need to use more than what you need. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, and now, making sure which brush that you already prepare. Okay, I have multiple brushes. So making sure you know which one. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna dip it into the masking and start painting, okay? Uh, to prepare for this painting, I already used uh, the graphite pencil to draw out the shape of the masking. And I'm gonna start working on that. Here we go. Put it down just like you would paint. And I'm gonna start from the tip over here. Here we go. And look, and before you do it, okay, and do it fast. Here you go, like that. That's good. Making sure it's thick enough, okay. That's good. Now come over here, refill that. I'm gonna paint it looking at the edge. Okay, keep it down all the way. And all the way, this is good. And on this side, use the tip facing to the edge. 
Okay, this is good. And coming down over here. Moving out a little bit. The reflection is darker than the water, so you don't really need to uh, mask the reflection. Okay. I'm going to come back to the top over here and the back all the way over. Here you go. This is pretty good. Like that. And look at it again. And yeah, this is good. Have a little bit here come out that's just good perfect now i'm gonna come in all the way over here keep adding more yeah look at it that's good you can keep a little bit expressive okay that's okay have a little bit come out a little bit like that and come back over here this is good and here we go and take a look at the tip over here like this beautiful and easy isn't it huh Okay, yeah, and coming in over here, here we go, like that, it's almost done. Look at it from a little angle, so make sure you have enough masking for it. Now I'm going to close that all the way to the bottom over here, make sure I'm using the tip of the brush facing to the critical edge, okay that you go okay that's pretty good okay this is good and the masking is done now I'm gonna give you 10 minutes let it dry at this point make sure that you would use a separate water to clean the brush and just like that the brush back to Looks like a brand new already. Okay, the masking already dry. Even have a little bit shiny over here, but it's already dry. Now, I'm gonna stop painting into the background to see how fast I can get this done. You have to see. I'm looking at the top over here. Star, pink, pink. I'm gonna, I first, I first am gonna get the big color to get it. So, and I see the blue on the top, it's plus and blue would be very deep color. Okay, here we go. Plus and blue with a little Windsor red. I'm gonna start painting it right now. Right here, here we go. Like, now I can focus only on the large, background okay here we go let's see a little bit more red building it up right on the top over here keep adding the little darker color that's just good that's good now i'm going to start using uh, some yellow color okay give it a couple seconds let the color stick to the paper okay and get a little yellow get a little big person blue uh that here you go i'm gonna start adding that into here so you can focus on one thing at a time okay coming down like this a little bit not too much water okay not too too much water just like put it over here and that's a little bit darker keep it darker like that I'm gonna have a little bit yellow. Just take the yellow over here. Just take the yellow. Okay, here we go. Like that. A little bit interesting variety. Like that coming down. This is pretty good. Like that. And I'm gonna just use the. Uh, here you go. The. I'm gonna have that come back a little bit more of the blue. Okay. I'm gonna come to the. Uh, a uh, small shape a little bit later but it's very important now I'm gonna have the blue what the blue color is I have two blues here one is just the red shade what is the green shade okay I think this is more on the uh, green shade because it's more of their sky blue okay here you go like that 
This is good. I'm going to clean it a little bit. It's now, can you see the good advantage by having the masking right now? Here you go. Like that. Here you go. Like that's very consistent. The whole background. Yeah, and coming over here, we can uh, stop that. And here you go. A little bit blue over here. A little bit blue on the edge. That's it. Okay. This is good. I'm going to keep going. And at the back over here, actually, I have a little bit red shade. I can see a little bit red shade over here. Uh, that's good. Have the little red shade blue color. You can see that. And here you go. A little bit red shade blue color over here, too. Okay. Across there. Uh, the mouth. Okay. This is good. A little bit like that. Coming over here. And this is good. I'm going to come to a little bit orange color. So now I need to clean this. I don't need this green anymore. Okay. I'm going to get the, take the yellow color from this side. I want this very bright, bright orange color. Here you go. I'm going to take the yellow from this side and take the red from this side. Oh, this is great. Now I'm going to have this right over here next to it. And here you go. And coming over here, this is beautiful. And there's some, also some beautiful orange color on the other side. So I'm going to just make it very clean and have a little bit more. And this is good. Have a little gap. This is fine. But I don't want to have a little bit too much of the, uh, this is the uh, green color over there. It looks like a little bit dirty. So here we go. I keep a little clean and also going to remove some of the color over here. Now, your whole attention, your whole mind, your whole energy, everything about you is focusing on uh, take care of the beautiful background, right? That's just good. I'm going to leave up that tapping, take it away because it's, it's going to create trouble. So now I'm going to come back over here to get a little bit more red with a little clean yellow color. Okay, coming back over here. Okay, here you go. Get a little bit water. Here you go. Here you go. Come up like that. That's beautiful. Like that. That's good. And Okay, that's good. Have a little bit more yellow, a little bit more yellow right over here. You can see that there's a little bit yellow and keep a little bit, slight a little bit light shade too, like that. And that's good. Put that in here and have a, a feel, a light shape. That's just good, like that. And keep it a little consistent in the back over here. So I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to just take this color out. Okay, so a little bit too much accumulate over here. So I can let it go. That's just good. Now, keep focusing. And I'm going to take the yellow and the red together. And this, a little bit more red. Tap on it, a little bit more red. Okay, now I'm going to have this a little bit more like a yellow orange color. Here you go. Coming over here. That's good. Uh, focusing on that. This is good. Keep it even a little white line like that. So that's over here. That's okay. I'm going to just as a brush over use this uh, wet paint and create uh, some a little bit soft area. So um, this is still wet. So I'm going to just maybe just use the brush and wipe off a little bit uh, lifting up why is it still wet that's just good that's good i can use this corner that's all right we're going to come back uh, to rebuild uh, the line and that would be for later that's just good now i'm going to continue coming down to the bottom over here. And this is can be a little bit lighter. Okay, a little bit lighter. Like that. This is blue over here, a little bit lighter. But it's okay. Keep a little expressive. Okay. Don't have to make it exactly look like 
uh, that. Okay, have a little bit more coming down over here. So, make it a lot easier for your painting. Okay, now I'm going to come in down over here and I'm going to have that take a look at. It could be a little bit red shade blue color. I'm going to take a look at that. Is that the color? Yeah, a little bit more green shade too. Okay, here we go. Now I'll put it right here. It's just darker. It's just the reflection of sh the shadow. Okay, there's, here we go. Now after you test the color is correct, now I'm going to quickly paint it in. Yeah, maybe a little bit more red, tiny, tiny, a little bit more red. Here you go. Okay, like this. A little bit darker. Gonna take a look at that. A little bit darker. Okay, have a little bit blue. Focusing on that color. That's good. That's a little bit better. Right the front. And take a look in the back over here. And take a look. Coming up over here. Don't worry. The masking protected it. Okay, coming here and coming through over here. And very soon we're going to change the brush and we're going to go into the uh, line. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's pretty good down over here and then up a little bit more like that. This is pretty good. And now I'm going to uh, quickly switch my brush. I'm going to come to use the calligraphy brush. Now I'm going to use just a little bit light blue color. Here you go. Take this color a little bit more light. Just here we go. Get a little bit water. Okay, here we go. Like this. Now take a look and have this color leading in and it's still wet. So it's just good to have those color have it like that. You see that? That's coming over here. Uh, this is still a little wet. Careful. Okay, here we go. And have a little bit more in. Okay, have a little bit shape like that. We don't have to get into that too much. Uh, so make sure that it's connected down over here. And that's it. And coming through over here, have a little, little bit ripple, a little bit movement, that's just fine, like that. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this is good. And take a look on this side. This is probably already drive. I'm gonna have it like this, a little reflection. This is good, some reflection. That's good, like that. And this as you're going a little bit more, but this is gonna be also the reflection of the tail, and, and that will be fine, like that. Okay, some quick line. Okay, here we go. Sum up the line. Okay, give it a few line. That's good. Very, very quick and easy. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have this. Moving that in, have some reflection. Some movement of the water. You can have that in like this. Give a little bit texture. That'll be fine, the texture. I'm gonna have a little bit darker. I also have a little bit red too. You can see a little bit red. Uh, the reflection over here. That, I can do that. Or you can use the flat brush if you wanna make it, try to make it a lot more consistent. Okay, like this. Okay, that's good. Like that. Some reflection right in here. Okay, that's good. Okay, the water is pretty good. Now come back to the top really quickly. I'm gonna take the blue and some red color, make it a lot deeper. Now coming back over here, there you go. Just brush through it, okay, like that. And, and have even a little bit color, brush through it. That's just fine. And there you go, like that. And a little bit darker over here. Now this is good. Keep going. We can have actually have a little bit dry brush over. That will be fine. Now I'm gonna have that the blue color. And take the water, have the blue color. And now I'm gonna start draw some line. And seeing that this is a little bit more 
like that is the reflection and here you go and this is good that's good coming down all the way that's good and some it's kind of like the movement of the whole thing they move over to the other side from the left to the right like this okay yeah, and that's good and like the color the movement of the ripple okay that's good like that there you go and that's just good you don't have to go so fast you can slow down because this is wet and dried you can do it slowly if you want to okay that's good okay this is good coming over here in the front I also have that the small shape right over here this is good and the color the blue maybe a little bit lighter okay this is fine like that you can see very interesting movement and I'm gonna have even a little bit darker somewhere over here some line okay that's good that's good there you go okay I have a little bit more blue and I also even have a little bit more red shade okay here you go and I have a couple line over here like that that's good all right and very good so I have the ripple up I have the ripple down so I'm gonna have this and a little bit now the bottom over here should be a little bit dry already it may be completely dry already now I'm gonna come back over here and here you go yeah, and it looks like a little bit red shade I also need to have a little bit red color mixed into it is it's a little bit too uh, cool a little bit warmer like this take a look at just the shape okay just the shape and this is a little bit lighter color okay this here we go let's get a little bit more shape okay that's good now there's the shape of the ripple like that it's pretty good like that give you a little bit shape now up a little bit over there and it's a little bit warmer so we do they have a little bit red and orange you can see that little bit red and orange in your whole mind and energy is to analyze the background right so you don't have to worry about the boat okay over here okay there's you go and have the longer line like that that's good and onto this side and again on the back over here I'm gonna have a little bit brighter orange color get the yellow and the red okay here you go get a little yellow color okay that's good and the back over here I can make it a little bit brighter orange color and also give a little bit bright color over there too and here you go like this this is good the brighter in the back and have a little bit yellow color just the yellow you can see that that's a little bit yellow if you have the yellow separate from the orange you can make it actually more a lot more brighter okay here we go like that have a little big shape a little big shape have a little bit tiny tiny little red okay here we go I have a little bit red over color way here too so you can see oh it can be a little bit separated between those color okay that's a little bit too much that's softened a little bit okay that's just good that's a little bit a little bit softer and the top over there i'm going to have a little bit tiny orange color like that okay this is good that's good all right and they come back here they see a little bit tiny tiny blue color and there's a little bit darker that's good like that 
you go. A little bit. A little bit. And now I can see a little bit purple color. I'm going to get that. A red and the red shade blue color, which French other marine. That's going to make this very interesting. Now take a look at this is another layer of shape. This is already dry. This is good. I'm going to have that. Yeah, and here you go. A little bit color coming through over here. That's good. Uh, can you see it? Can you pay attention? That's good. That's the color connected over there. There's, there's some very, very, very uh, small shape, isolated like that. That's just good. The water movement. Here you go. Now, this is good. Now, on this side, more of those bigger shape. The water very thirsty, so and then we come back over here to give it a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. That's here. Here we go. Now I have this a little bit isolated. You can see how that move. That's good. This is very cohesive. Oh, uh, that's good. Like that. Here we go. That's good. I'm gonna have a little bit tiny, tiny, a little bit darker right here. That's good. That's a very consistent. You see how the water edge all work together. So this may be a little bit too big. So I can soften that a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. Okay, like that, a little bit softer, like that. That's just pretty good already. Okay, as yeah, so we are. And the top looks pretty good. I'm gonna get a little, little bit more yellow. And uh, maybe the yellow just with a little bit blue. So I'm gonna make this actually a little bit more, uh, feeling a little bit more green, right? That's good. Like that from the top over there. And then they come down like this. That's pretty good. And it's gonna dry and you're gonna see how it look. Okay, this is good. And I'm going to take a little bit more blue. So basically, at this step, do whatever you can do to make the majority space of the whole painting, which is their background, not the swan. The swan is a smaller uh, shape uh, among the whole painting. So here we go. And you can focus on that. Okay, pretty good, pretty happy. Now, at this point, I'm as I'm waiting. Okay, here there's this little issue. I'm gonna use a little bit red, mix into this. Okay, I'm gonna remake this color. I'm gonna have this color, like this. Here we go. I'm gonna have this all more connected, like that. There's a little bit too much light. I'm gonna have this soften that a little bit and merge into. Okay. That's good. And keep it a little bit tiny, tiny, tiny little shape over here. That's good. Now I'm gonna paint the reflection since I I still waiting for everything settled. So I'm gonna have it here, just a little bit more yellow and orange. Can you see it, right? And take this color on top of the color that we already have is pretty good. So I'm gonna take a look. This is color and the color after apply to it. You see a totally different color. So I'm gonna have actually a little bit more red. I need a little bit more red in here. But this color is not the same color that you see over here because it's translucent. Um, is has combined the color that's already uh, in that space, okay? Like that, that's good, very simple. Okay, look at the reflection over here. Okay, that's good, like that. And coming over here, that's good. I'm gonna have this. Coming, look at that reflection coming over here. That's just good, right here, like that. So don't go out too much. That's just good, like that. 
Okay, wonderful. That's just the shape of the reflection of the body. Like that. Okay, now I'm gonna continue with this color. Maybe a little bit tiny, tiny more red. Okay, because there's a quite a bit of blue in I'm gonna put over here. This is good. Quite a bit of blue already in uh, this space, already in the water. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna take a little bit tiny, tiny more yellow. So you can see how this color as a part of their uh, mixing. Okay, this the, the water actually part of the mixing. And here you go. The blue color is a part of their uh, mixing first, right? I'm gonna have it in here, little big zigzag shape, and take a look at the neck, and coming like that. That's good. Yeah, beautiful. Like that. Okay, spend as much time as you need, and on this side, can be just slightly, a little bit darker. So I'm gonna get. A little bit more red. Now you need to add a little bit blue. The blue on the paper maybe not even enough. So I'm gonna take a little bit more blue coming onto the edge over here. You can see that that's can be soft, and the reflection is softer like that. This is good. Yeah, it's beautiful. A little bit soft over here too. Okay, this is, here we go like that. A little bit darker color on the edge here. Here you go. Like that. Okay. And a little bit darker. You see that the reflection, beautiful. It's already already good. And on this side, on the neck, also a little bit shadow. So I have a little bit darker as well. That's good. Like that. Okay. And here can be a little bit lighter, but I don't think it need to be that much lighter. So I'm gonna just light up a little bit over here, and it will look a little bit lighter, right? I'm gonna get back over here, I have a little bit warm color. It's too much yellow, so get a little bit red into here, and actually that's come out a little bit more on the top. Okay, and here we go. You have a little bit more coming out. That's good, like that. Okay, that's good, a little bit clear. Okay, now we've done the reflection, everything on the water, we already finished. And this need to be lighter. Gonna light up a little bit over here. Just lift up a little bit color, that's done. Right, simple, I'm gonna have this connected to the other side. Okay, two sides connected together. Okay, the tip over here. Now I'm gonna have this actually a little bit open, a little bit more, like that. That's good. Now, so think about everything else. Is that, it's good, and the water's good. I'm gonna have a little bit of feel, a little bit darker, okay? A little bit darker line in the front. Okay, right here. And here you go, just a little bit blue color. Take a look and let your hand freely just move. Okay, here you go. Following the same movement, like the ripple color. Okay, here you go. That's good. I feel like that. Okay, this, here we go. That's good. That's good. That's good, very good. And like this. Nice. And, and do not overdo it. Just a little bit few more. Okay, that's good. All right, and the front over here, I'm gonna have some a little bit darker. Just get the blue and the red color. And get a little bit more blue. It's a little bit cooler. That's just good. Now take a look at the shape over here. Like that, a feel sharper shape. Okay, that's good. Like that, that's good already. 
make a little bit more clear, sharper, and also a little bit connected. And take a look over here, maybe just somewhere, just a couple clear line. Okay, it's pretty nice. I'm going to have a few lines across to the head. I'm going to get a little bit, a little bit of this color. This is good. Okay, this is good. I'm going to cross over of the head. Here you go. And that's a little bit more vertical, like that, coming down, like this, and connected. And here you go, a little bit connected from the top over here. Yeah, and here you go. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna have a little gap over here. A little bit darker. Okay, that's good. Wonderful. Okay, I think this is pretty good. And now I'm gonna give it a few minutes let the whole thing dry and then I come back to remove the masking and the painting into the main object. Now I'm going to lift up the masking. I'm going to start from the tail over here. Okay, I just use my finger. There is some uh, masking lifter, uh, like an eraser. You can use those, but I think my fingers actually do just fine. Okay, here you go. Make sure you remove all the masking. Okay, here we go. After a little bit, you can just take it up. That's good. There you go from the outside, making into the inside. So, so making sure the outside the outside, the whole background, already dry, okay? Be patient, leave it enough time. And that's good. Now the masking is already completely removed. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna paint uh, the, some light color. Maybe start from the body. So now I'm gonna take a look. Take a look at that. It has a little bit tiny, tiny blue color. So that blue color can be the red shade blue color. So I'm gonna put that right in over here. That's good. It's not white. So put it up like this. Can be a little bit uh, green shade blue color too. I'm gonna test it to see how it looks. So with this color, separate two different, two different wings. Okay, They're a little bit different. I'm gonna have that coming up over here and then over there. That's good. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna clean the brush. There you go. Doesn't have to be make it very complete and smooth. Okay, coming down over here. That's good. And that's very well. And I'm gonna be coming on to this side a little bit more like a warm color. So get a little bit yellow and the red, right? That's a little bit more orange kind of feeling. That's not really, really dark. So I'm gonna have this from the bottom over here going up. Okay, very thin color. Here you go. Now we can create a form. We always talk about the form. And the form of the face, the form of the, any object. On here, there's the body, the form. That's good. Yeah, and they can have a little bit texture. Yeah, here you go. The form over here. Like that. Now I'm gonna use it's just the water. Soften that. The edge over here. Move it up and connect it. And the bottom over here. That's good. And the top over there also have a little bit tiny tiny blue color, right? And so make it a little bit more consistent as the other wing. So, but don't merge it together uh, over there. Keep a little bit, a little bit more clear. Okay, that's good. Have a little bit texture look like um, the uh, the 
texture of the feather. Okay, I have a little bit softer over here too. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna have the bottom over here. Have again not really so bright. It makes a little blue into it if you want it to be a little bit more gray. Get a little bit red, tiny, tiny red. That's as good. I'm gonna put this color right here. Okay, I'm gonna put that over here too, gradually building up the feeling of the shadow. Okay, that's good. Like that. And the bottom over here, a little bit darker. Okay, here you go. Like that. Here we go. That's good. Now I'm gonna come back to the top over there. I'm gonna have a little, just a little bit gray. This is should be good. A little bit blue, a little bit gray like that. And see, that's definitely too dark. So I'm gonna have the water come back over here. Just use the water to soften it a little bit and can make it a little bit lighter coming over there. Okay, there we go. Like this. Okay, that's as good. Now I'm gonna have just a little bit tiny fresh uh, blue and tap on it. And now I'm gonna lead this color a little bit more graduate, turn into that. This is pretty good. I'm gonna have a little bit tiny, tiny also light brown color over there too. That's good. Okay, and we're gonna come back to do this a little bit darker after this a little bit more dry. So I'm gonna soften that over here too. Doesn't need to be so clear. Okay, coming in over here. Now I'm gonna change my attention into the face. Okay, this is pretty good. Now I'm gonna have that this almost just like this color. And take a look at the face over here. Like here, that's a little bit darker. And take a look at the neck over here coming down right in the middle over here, like that. And here you go, coming down, and this, the whole area, need to be almost the shadow, right? More on the shadow, so I'm gonna coming down over here and seeing, here we go, seeing like this. And I'm gonna keep the left hand side still a little bit light, so keep it more like this. Here you go, the top over here too. Yeah, a little bit can be a little bit brighter, uh, orange brown color. Okay, here you go. Here we go, like that. And we can yeah, fine tune that after you drive. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Coming down over here, a little bit softer. Here you go, almost that. Enjoy it. And let me zoom in. So, focusing on this main object. On the head over here, obviously the masking is not really that that well done. So I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter, expand it. You can still do that. And as well as the outside, you can have some color coming in. Okay, that's no problem. So this is good. Soften that a little bit and we prepare and come back to we work on it. Okay, you don't have to make it fully clean. That's as good, like that. Make sure, make it a little bit softer outside. Okay, let's continue. And I'm gonna come back after this drive a little bit more, but before I walk away from the head, let me get a little red for the beak. Okay, here we go. Right there, here you go, like that. A little bit more, just the red. Okay, here we go. And leave a little bit light gap at the top. Okay, that's good. Here you go, like that. Here you go, that's good. That's the shape of the mouth. I'll say the beak. Okay, here you go. A little gap. Have a little light coming from. Okay, that's good. 
All right, now I'm gonna come into. Um, I'm also going to soften the outside over here because I want to also connect this and moving up a little bit more. And I need to make this a little bit softer so it doesn't have a clear line. When you have a clear line, when I just put a lot of blue colors uh, outside, it's going to show that clear line and make it a little bit softer like this. Okay, I'm going to show you that. This is not critical. You always can do that anytime. Now, I'll take a look at the body over here. Walk away from that and come back a little bit later. Let's take a look. I'm going to have a little bit darker on the edge. Just a little bit darker right here. And take a look at this would be a little darker color. Okay, darker edge. Here you go. This is good. Like that. And have a little dark color over here too. And here you go. Okay. And like that. Have a little big feather over here. And here you go. A little big shape. A little big shape like that. Here you go. Now my brushes do have some water. And just keep going. And coming down over here. That's good. Keep the texture. It's make it look very interesting and expressive. Okay, that's good. And that's wonderful. I'm gonna come in down over here a little bit softer like that. You see, I haven't even changed the brush. And coming to continue. And the edge over here. Get a little bit the blue color, dark a little bit blue color. Keep going over here. And and also the reflection over here showing a little bit more. You can always go back to that. And on the edge over here, and I'm gonna have a little bit darker, but not lots of water. You can see that, right? So don't get too much water. I'm gonna have that a little bit brownish color, get a little bit blue. Here you go. I'm gonna have that over here. See this? A little bit more. A little bit more. Here you go. Here you go, like that. That's good. I'm gonna have a little bit darker color on the tip over here. Okay, a little bit on the edge. And that's good. I'm gonna soften that a bit. And I'm gonna moving up on the top over there is think about it's just the gray color, right? Just very little gray color. And I'm gonna do that. Here we go. Like this. Okay, oh, a little bit darker. Little big cool gray color. Here we go. And coming down over here. Like that. That's pretty good. And the edge over here. And a little bit darker. Here we go. That's yeah, pretty good. Now I'm gonna use some darker color, right? But not really deep, like not as dark as is the top, right? In the background. Here you go. That's just a little bit more clear on the edge. So I'm gonna hit just put tip and just release a little bit darker right over there. This is good. A little bit edge over here. This is good. Like this. Okay, there's a little bit off here. And a little bit softer. Right over there. And the reflection is pretty good. And you see the body is almost done. As you can say it's done. Now I come back to the top over here. This Audi drive. Now first thing, I'm gonna add a little bit uh, brown color. Okay, like a orange brown color. And take a look. Fine tune that over here. I'm gonna take a look at the edge. This a little bit darker. And I believe it's also a little bit more blue. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at coming down all the way here. Okay, here you go. Coming down all the way in here. Okay, that's good. Is it how enjoyable that you separate the big problem to become too small problem 
and now you just only need to focus on the bird. But the bird, you can you want to see the more true color. You have to have the whole painting or the cover, the majority of the shape, and then you can see how dark this color or how light this color is supposed to. Okay, like this, a little bit darker, and the edge and the bottom over here. That's good. Now coming back over here, I will try to make the neck to look uh, three dimensional. Okay, like that, a little bit softer. That's good. I'm gonna come in to the top over here, the middle. I'm gonna mix a little bit more. Just mostly orange color, okay? You can tip, tap on it a little bit orange right in here, like that. Okay, here you go, like that. That's good. Have a little bit texture, like that. That's good. And make a little bit darker on the edge. And not just this, it need to be also a little bit more uh, blue color too. So I'm gonna have a little bit more. Let's see the face a little bit more round, right? So in the light area, it's always have a little bit brighter color. The bright color you can see uh, more orange than think about the brown. Uh, brown already have quite a bit of the blue in it in order to be brown. Like on this side, I'm gonna have a little bit blue in it. So they make it feel more like a little bit brown, right? So I'm gonna have this because this is more on the shadow, right? Shadow have less bright. Okay, coming here. Like that. Here we go. Like that, this is good. If it's too much texture, it's very easy to soften it. And just use the water to soften that watercolor. Okay, here you go. Okay, this is good. And yeah, now I want to soften that side slightly, a little bit softer, a little bit, not too much water. Okay, make a little bit softer, like that. You see in the neck over here. And soften that a little bit. This is pretty good, good enough. Okay, in the middle over there, I'm gonna also have a little bit darker right here. Here we go. A little bit more blue into the red. A little bit over here too. Okay, here you go. Okay, this is good. Okay, like that. Now I'm gonna shrink the top a little bit more by using the same blue color that I start painting it into the background. So I'm gonna take a look a little bit. Oh, this is too dark, right? So I'm gonna make sure it's the same value. Okay, here we go. The same value. So that's good. A little bit water. Okay, this is good, like that. Now I'm gonna take a look, I'm gonna shrink this shape. Like that, it's pretty easy. Shrink this shape, coming down like this, that's good. So after you do this, making sure the color over here, spread it to the surrounding. Okay, that's good, like that. So it doesn't feel like it's standing out on its own. Okay, here you go. It's perfect. And also that need this color. Yeah, here you go, like that. And also you can do the same thing. Use this color, spread it into here. So it is coming up a little bit more. Okay, get a little bit tiny of this blue. Here you go, like that. Okay, that's good. So it's up a tiny more, that's it. Right, now it's a lot more. Good, that's good. At that, I can have a little line like this. And also a little line on the outside. Now this make it 
consistent to the surrounding color. Okay, wonderful. Now, problem solve. And the top over there, I'm going to have just a little bit tiny, tiny blue. And right at the edge over here, I want it a little bit more clear. Okay, that's good. A little bit more clear. So, so, so make sure that you have the little bit soft uh, texture before you can do that. And this is pretty good already. And no problem. Now come take a look at the, the whole form over here. Looks as already pretty good already. I think this is a little bit too dark. So I'm going to soften there a little bit by just use the water. Soften it a little bit. Now here you go. Have a little bit softer over here too. You can just use the water to do that. Pretty good. Now we're going to painting into the head. Uh, we already have the red color, but I want this a little bit softer. Just make this to be a small flat brush, right? And just soften that edge and the top of it here. Have a little bit graduate from light to the red. That's good. That's good. And now you know this area now is wet, so I don't want to come back to that too quickly. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint it the very dark color on the face. So you don't have to think it's a black, it's just very dark. The blue, the pleasant blue and the red making a very, very dark color. Okay, let's take a look. And take a look at the front over here. Here you go. That's the very dark color right over here. That's good. Like that. Take a look going up over here. And there you go. Like thin here. That's a little bit eye. Right over here. See this good. Only looking for. So where's the shape? Where's the shape going on? That's very beautiful. Okay, tip of the water. And continue. Here we go. Coming here. Take a look. That's a little bit more like a triangle. Coming down here. That's the triangle. Coming down here. Look at it again. Okay, that's good. Coming down all the way to the lower the chin right here and this color wrap around the bottom of the beak okay that's good now let's continue and uh, this would tie up all the uh, detail okay here we go take a look and look at it again before you do it okay here we go keep going like that beautiful and maybe a little bit thicker here, like that. Coming a little bit higher, like this. This is good. Now I'm going to take a look at, there's the nose. And there's one brush. You can have the nose over here. Uh, look at it again, seriously, okay. And put it down and leave it up. One brush stroke, that is good. And the front over here. That's good. This is great. Now getting that beautiful shape. And I still want that the bottom over here a little bit tiny, tiny darker as the shadow. I'm gonna get a little red, get a little yellow, and let's see. And just a little bit tiny, tiny blue. And here you go. And the bottom over here, and a little bit, just with a little bit suggestions of the shadow. Okay, have a little line over there, like that, and get a little bit suggestions of the hair. That's is nice. I'm gonna have just a little bit lighter, tiny, a little lighter. I'm gonna have the little bit dry brush. How's that sound? Got a little bit dry brush. Open that up. A little bit more 
like that. This is pretty good, right? Now I'm going to just use half of the brush like this. Okay, here we go. Some suggestions for the texture of the hair over here too. Okay, a few more over here. That's good. A few more coming down over here. I like that. And a little bit softer over here. If they're too much. And a little bit orange color on the face over here. Like that. That's good. Right on the top over here. This is great. That's great. Let's see anything we need to do. I think a little bit tiny fresh blue color would be helpful. I'm going to take a little bit tiny, tiny blue right here. I'm going to have this a little bit more clear like that. This is great. And some reflection, or not reflection, the cast shadow right behind the neck. Okay. Now, just the clean brush. Now, softly extend the color. Right, pretty good. Now, let's take a look. The wing over here does pretty good already, but it's just, I think I should have a little bit soft, a little bit gray color. And this doesn't need to be so light. And I have this, and I'll also give a little tiny suggestions for the wing over here, like that. Okay, that's good. A little bit feather suggestion. Okay, now this painting is finished. If you also like oil painting, you can see how I paint this in another YouTube channel. The link in the description. I will see you in my next video.